Have you ever thought of running your favorite mobile apps and games on a bigger screen? Well today I'll show you exactly how to do that. For this tutorial I'll be using the iMyPhone Mirror 2 software which is also the sponsor of today's video. It's basically a screen mirroring app which works on Android and iOS. And honestly speaking the features provided in this software are quite impressive. You can install this software on both Windows and Mac OS so just go ahead and click on the free download button on any of your operating systems and open the setup.exe. I'll provide the official website where you can download the iMyPhone Mirror 2 in description box below once you download it just run the installation setup as usual and once installation is complete click on start now the free version of this app is usable but it has limited features so if you want to unlock all the features of iMyPhone mirror 2 software you can get the VIP membership it's pretty cheap and uh, once you get the VIP membership you just have to sign into your iMyPhone account and enter the registration code of mirror 2 software that's all you gotta do now let's take a look at the general settings here you'll be able to see that with VIP subscription we can disable the watermark and increase the picture quality. These are some basic features which you can customize if you have an VIP membership but it works for free as well. To start mirroring our mobile devices we'll have to choose its operating system for example Android or iOS. With iOS you can mirror directly using Wi-Fi but I'll just go ahead and go back because I actually want to mirror my Android tablet. I have clicked on the Android logo so I'll have to connect my Android device to my PC. This is my Samsung Tab S8 which I actually want to mirror to my monitor and this mirroring process works even if you are offline. So what you have to do is just go ahead and grab your charger and unplug the USB or Type-C cable from the power brick. You will get two ends, connect one of the end onto your Android tablet or device and connect the second end into the PC. Once you are properly connected to the PC, there will be a pop-up on the mirror to software asking you to choose the device. You will see your device name, I will just go ahead and click on OK and it will ask you to enable USB debugging on your Android device. To do this what you have to do is just go ahead and uh, go to your Android device, open settings and then you just have to scroll down until you find the about section or in my case there is about tablet, I'll go to software information, click on build number 6 to 7 times and developer option should be enabled. Once the developer option comes up just go ahead and search for it and afterwards you just have to scroll down and enable USB debugging in the debugging option. With USB debugging turned on you can mirror your device onto your PC without any internet connection and also with very less delay. So you just have to click on OK again and it will check the permissions and there will be a pop up on your Android device. Just go ahead and click on allow. It's basically asking if you trust your computer. We do trust our own computer so click on allow and as you can see our device has been successfully mirrored. After few seconds you will see that iMyPhone Mirror 2 app will be opened on your Android device. You can close it by pressing the home button or you can use it to directly disconnect your uh, device. Now to get a full screen experience click on the maximize option and here you can see my 27 inch monitor is turned into my Android device now. The screen mirroring is offline, no internet connection is present on my tablet and you can use the mouse to control the home screen and you can also use keyboard to type things which I'll show you later. First of all as you can see we can use any Android app on a bigger screen which is really cool. With this help you can play games, you can run apps which are only available on Android devices without needing to use an Android emulator like Bluestacks etc. And at the top right you will see the back home and recent tab button. You can use those buttons to navigate through Android apps. Now let's move on towards the gaming experience. As I told you guys before the delay will be very little. You can see as soon as I click on inventory on both displays it will be very quick so you don't have to worry about there being a huge delay. Now once the game actually starts you can see the keyboard option at the top right of your screen and use the keyboard mapping feature to map all the buttons. Here we go this is the moment of truth you'll notice that there is literally zero delay in my android tablet screen and on this device. Now let's move on towards Asphalt 9 which is really cool racing game. Now you may be thinking that Asphalt 9 is already available for PC so what's the use in mirroring it? The answer is that in PC you cannot get your Android progress. For example I have grinded years in Asphalt 9 when I didn't have a PC so all my progress is linked to my Google Play games which cannot be used in Microsoft Windows Store. So through this way I can play Asphalt 9 on a bigger screen by just mirroring my uh, Android device display which is pretty cool. 
Now let's move on forward with the typing. Now if you have some documents lying around on your mobile devices which you want to edit, with the bigger screen it will be way easier and with a physical keyboard it will be even better. My point is that mirroring your screen is not dumb. <laughs> you can actually use it for some productive usage and also you can maybe run your downloaded videos on a bigger screen. As a content creator there is an option which gets me really excited which is the live streaming option. So you can literally live stream the android device window to any live streaming platforms you don't need an elgato which is really cool there are many other options like screen recording screenshotting etc but before ending the video let's take a look at grid auto sport which is an android specific racing game with really good graphics while playing these games on a mirroring software i would recommend you to go to controls and enable auto accelerate to on with this help the car will automatically accelerate and deaccelerate which makes it easier to play for the first time and with the help of mouse you can turn the wheel around you don't even need to map the controls to your keyboard which will definitely save your time. Well that's it for today's tutorial I hope you guys find it helpful. Uh, if you guys want to watch similar videos then be sure to hit that subscribe button. Check out iMyPhone Mirror 2 link will be given in description box below. Goodbye.